Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring clear quartz, also known as quartz crystal and rock quartz. Quartz is the second most abundant crystal found in the Earth's crust, making it a universal crystal, and so it helps to bond us all together. It's a really amazing crystal because it has so many uses. It's kind of like your jack of all trades, master of none. Being clear, it infuses all the different colours of the rainbow, so it's white light, and so you can use it for absolutely anything. If you don't have a crystal, you can use it as a substitute. If you need to amp up another crystal and give it a bit more white light, then you can use clear quartz for that as well. But let's explore some of the main reasons you might reach for your clear quartz in your day-to-day -day life. Clear quartz can help you on all levels. It can help you with your physical stamina, it can help you balance your emotions, it can help you think positively, and it can also help you to really grow spiritually and to transcend and get clarity in your spiritual life. One of my favourite things I like to use it for is that physical stamina. Now instead of when you're feeling a bit flat, what you want to do, you don't want to reach for that soda or that unhealthy candy bar or chocolate bar. Try putting a bit of clear quartz in water and then drinking it after half an hour. It can really help to boost you. Now you do have to kind of do a little work with your clear quartz and build your relationship with it. Because it's so abundant all around the world, you will find that they have different effects. Now a lot of the clear quartz that we get around the world is from places like Brazil and Arkansas in the USA, and this has a real uplifting energy. But you can get clear quartz from places like the Himalayas or Tibet. And that, although it's uplifting, doesn't quite have the real vibrancy of it. So, you know, instead of when you're reaching for this at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon when you're starting to nod off at work, if you're reaching for a Tibetan quartz, it might actually, might, you might just want to go outside and meditate or something instead of giving that real burst. So this is a real great one, just to give you that real burst in that way. It's great for, you know, elderly people. It's also good for old pets or old animals that are starting to get a bit of a bit frail, then a bit of clear quartz can help to give them a bit of a boost during the day. Now ideally wear it higher on the body unless you're actually specif specifically using it for something to do with the lower body if you need to strengthen your legs or something like that. Illness and disease results in the body when it's out of balance and clear quartz helps to bring the body back into balance because it contains that white light. It's especially great when it's to do with any issues with the brain, whether it be concussion, brain damage or a tumour, because this is our master organ, this being a master crystal, they work really well together to bring everything back to how it should be. Now if you're taking liquid herbs for your well-being, then drinking that out of a crystal, um, a clear quartz crystal cup, or even putting a little bit of clear quartz in it, can really help to boost that in a great way. Another way I like to use clear quartz is to help with any pain, because again, pain is when the body is out of balance. Now what you can do is you can just rest with one bit of clear quartz on there, or put another real soothing crystal. You know, fluorite's a really good one as well, or any kind of crystal that you feel is right for wherever you're experiencing that pain, and it has some little clear quartz kind of pointing in, make a little grid on your body as best you can, and that will help to infuse and help to take away that pain. Now it's also known as the milk crystal, so I can't speak from personal experience, but I've heard that by having a piece of clear quartz in your bra, it can actually help with lactation as well. Now a word of warning when you are working with clear quartz and its balancing effects, because it's an amplifying crystal, it may not be the best crystal to have in your bedroom, because what happens is whatever is happening and whatever's in that area, it'll help to amplify that. So I've had some people that just don't have a good night's sleep, because especially around the full moon, because if you think about the full moon, what's happening? It's a very intuitive, magical, channeling kind of time. And so while you're trying to go to sleep at 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning, the clear quartz is sitting in the corner going, let's do some channeling! So if that's kind of happening to you, try taking clear quartz out of the bedroom. And I've, you know, I know some people that sleep fine, but I've had other people email me the day after I've told them that, and they said, oh my God, I've had the best night's sleep in eight years. So if you're not sleeping and you've got clear quartz in your bedroom, try taking it out and just working with it during the day. Clear quartz isn't just great for your own personal healing or people that you're healing maybe in front of you on your table if you are a healer or just a friend who you're helping out or a loved one. It can also be used for what's called absent healing or distant healing where we send white light or balancing energy to someone else in the world who's requested it. Now because clear quartz grows with these points you kind of use that as a laser beam. So hold your clear quartz, close your eyes and visualize white light leaving the crystal coming through your energy field and out to that other person. The other great thing because as I mentioned before clear quartz is found all around the crust of the earth and we find it everywhere 
you can help to activate. So if the person you're sending energy to maybe is in London or the USA or Asia or somewhere where you're not, you can visualize the white light of the clear quartz in that area, in the ground, coming up and helping to heal them as well as what you're sending out through your laser quartz as well. Clear quartz being an amplifier is great when you're doing any other crystal work as well because what it does is it amplifies those crystals. So if you want a little bit more happiness, then combine it with a citrine. If you want a little bit more love, then combine it with a rose quartz. A little bit more luck, combine it with a green adventuring and so on. If you're not feeling much from a crystal or you want to give it an extra boost, then add clear quartz to it. Basically, it's going to boost you, your crystals and everything. It just lifts the energy whenever you need that to happen. If you've watched some of my other Crystal Connections videos, you would have realized that I use different elements of nature to cleanse different crystals. But when it comes to clear quartz, I actually use all of those different elements depending on what I'm using this crystal for. Because it's so multifaceted and has so many different uses, then use different things and try out and see how your crystal feels. So for example, if you're using it for vitality, then I would cleanse it with the sun. And ideally on the summer solstice or midsummer is the best day to put that out from morning till night, from sunrise to sunset. But if I'm using it for more magical and meditative purposes, cleanse it under the full moon. For healing, maybe use the element of earth and bury it in the earth. And maybe if you're using it for clarity and study and focus in that way, then cleanse it with the element of air. Play around, see how you and your clear quartz come up with and find the best technique for you and your individual quartz. Now, you know I love to work with animal guides as well. And with clear quartz, because it's so powerful and got so many uses, I have four animal guides I love to use with this crystal. The first one is camel, and camel teaches us about endurance and how to find that strength and that resilience and keep going on, even in really hard and suffering kind of circumstances. So if, you've, if you're burning the candle at both ends and you need some help, tune into camel, connect with camel's energy and medicine, and call upon your clear quartz to help you in that way. The second animal I really like is shark. Shark has total awareness of its environment and total control of its environment as well. It can sense things far, far away. And you also see shark fly, swimming amongst other fish, and choosing not to eat them. Shark is in complete control. So if you need to regain control of your life, work with shark and clear quartz. Horse is another one I love to use. And horse, you know, power, freedom, all those beautiful things. And clear quartz can really help us in that way. If you want to be free and really take control of your freedom in your life. The fourth and final one is an Australian animal. It's the red kangaroo. Now the red kangaroo is found in the deserts of Australia and it has this unique ability to pause its pregnancy at any point if the environment isn't kind of great for giving birth. So if there's a lack of water or the temperatures are really hot, it'll actually just pause it. It can pause it for days, months, years, however long it needs to and when it's more favorable it will then continue on with its pregnancy and its gestation. So clear quartz and red kangaroo really guide us into taking total control of our creativity, of our lives, and how we want it to turn out. When it comes to plants, I work with ginger, and ginger brings vitality to us. It's great for our digestion, it's great for our you know, strength as an essential oil. Not only does it help us physically, but it helps us mentally and especially spiritually. It adds more strength to any working uh, creative visualization, spells, or the like. So clear quartz and ginger have a really similar energy in that way. Astrologically, again, clear quartz can work with any of the planets, but I like to work with it with the sun and the moon mainly because these are the most powerful and the most influential on us. So thus, Sunday, ruled by the sun, and Monday, ruled by the moon, are the two power days for working with clear quartz. Now, clear quartz has so many uses, and I'd love to hear how you've benefited from clear quartz in your life. Also, let us know how you go sleeping with it in your room. If you'd like to bring more vitality into your life, then check out my volume three, Happiness and Protection. There's a clear quartz meditation on there to really help you with vitality. Share with our crystal community, do the meditation, work with your clear quartz, and leave a comment in the section below to let us know about your experiences. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.